Uh, today, you're going to be learning about um, our map making project website that we're going to be using on uh, Friday this week. And what you're going to be doing is using a program called Map Maker, and it's through National Geographic. And it's also um, supported by a company here called Esri. You'll see it right there. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna be going to this website and the first thing you'll see is this screen where it says explore the new map maker because this is pretty new um, for National Geographic so it's kind of fun to be able to try something new. So what you're gonna do is click try it out first thing. And it's gonna populate which means create the map and it should look something like this when yours pops up. And there's a couple of tools that you need to know about before we get started and so that you uh, can always go back and fix things that you need to know how to do in case you get something lost. And you can always go back and restart a map. It's not a big deal because um, you're not going to break it. So if you um, get somewhere and it doesn't look right or whatever, you can start over. It's not really a big deal. You guys will figure this out really quick. All right, first of all, over here on the left, you'll see a search tool. And when you click that, you can put in an address or a place. So we could put in, um, let's say, London. And we probably want to go to London, England, right? So it will click it, and then it will take you directly to this place, okay? And if that's not the place you really wanted to go to, you just click that little X. And if you look at London, it's kind of a fun-looking city. But what you can do is if you need to go to a different place, if that was the wrong one, there's this little home button right here. It says default map view. You click that and it will go back to the way it looked when you first started. Now you will see over here that um, there's still like a little circle where London is at. To get rid of that, you just click the X and it will go away. So we start back here at home. If you don't want to see that there, you just click these two little arrows and it shrinks it, okay? If you want to zoom in, there's a plus button. This is a lot like Google Earth. You can zoom into a place. You can also click on the map, and when you get the little hand, you can drag it up. So you can zoom in to a place, and there's London again, and we can zoom in further and further, and you can see it, okay? Now, once you've zoomed in, if you need to zoom back out, you can click the minus button, okay? This button here, is not one that you're really going to need to worry about, so I wouldn't even mess with it. But if you need to go back to the regular place that it was when you first started, you just click that little home button. Okay. Now, there are some things down here at the bottom that you can use as well. This one is the default map, and it is the one that shows the names of the countries. So you're probably not going to want to change that too much. But this does have different, what we call, base maps. And if you click them, you can choose. The one that is the default is National Geographic style. If you wanted to see one that was more about just the main places and you didn't need to see much color, that is the contrast map. If you want to see stuff about human geography, that's going to take away all the mountains and all the rivers and everything and just leave you with the countries mostly and the boundaries. If you want to click this one, this is imagery hybrid. It's going to give you more what the world looks like without the lines drawn by humans. Okay, So it's kind of a satellite view. The next one is one with a local language, and for us, it won't look much different because it's written in English, so it will be fine. If you're really looking into something interesting, this really takes away, this is the ocean one, 
and it takes away most of the landform information and really focuses on what's in the ocean. You can also click an open street map one. Um, that one's going to be not real useful for you, but it does show the streets. And it also shows the local languages right there too. This one has the outlines, so it does not include all of the names of the places. Topographical maps show you more about what landforms are there. And this one adds a little more detail, same kind of thing, contours and hillsides. And then we have this final one, which is just a satellite imagery with no countries listed or anything. It's just the land. But you could still use your search tool and find London. And it would still take you there, but it wouldn't really show you the cities. It's just going to show you the land. It's kind of an interesting view to think about what it's like. But as soon as you start zooming in, you're going to see the human piece that's there, okay? So those are the base maps. What I would really like for you to do for your assignment that you'll be doing on Friday is to use the National Geographic style one. And then once you're done, you can click base maps and get it off of that. We are not going to be using open map or map layers for this. So you can pretty much skip over these three right here, four, we're not going to measure. Uh, you can turn it to 3D and you'll see it like this. Um, but when you get ready to turn in your assignment, it needs to be in 2D. But if you want to have fun while you're looking at things, you just click the 3D and then you can still search London. and it will zoom in like that, which is kind of cool, okay? But as soon as you switch it back to 2D, it'll be like that, all right? So what we're gonna be doing though is we are gonna be placing some points on the map. And to do that, you're gonna be using this sketch tool, but you are gonna be using these little symbols here. These are map pins. You may choose which one you want. You can make them a little bit smaller if you want to. Don't make them so big that we can, it covers up the land. So usually about there is good. I kind of like this one because it looks like a little push pin. And then what you'll do is you'll type in whatever place you're looking for, London. And once you get there, you can see that my cursor is now turned into a little pin and so you just click it and it'll pin it then you click this little close button oops I I got two there and as soon as you see that one still moving around that's your cursor cursor come over here to the X next to the word sketch and that will turn it off then you could go to a new place I might put Dallas, Texas, boom. And I would probably want to put a map pin there. So again, I go to my sketch tool and I put the pin and I click it right by that word Dallas. Come over here and close this. And then you'll see it's still moving a little bit. So if it doesn't place, then you can click it and it will. Then click the X and you're back to that. Close that. And now if I go back here, you can see that I have two pins. One here and one here. Okay. So I might even shrink that up a little bit so you can see where the two places are. All right. So I want you to play around with doing that a little bit. Again, 
Oh, and you can change the color too if you want. So if I wanted to change my little map pin to, uh, I don't know, let's go with purple. Just click in that purple there, right? And then you can see he's floating around and I might put him there. So just click. And then when you're done, click the X and it's there. Let's find out where that's at, just for fun. Where did I miss his back? Oh, I put two. Sometimes that happens. If that happens, you click on your pin, right? And you can delete it. Maybe. I'll let you guys see if you can figure out how to click that off. Oh yeah, you click the little arrow over here, edit, then you click that, and then you can delete it. Done. Okay? So I guess I just randomly got into the mountains of Algeria here, and there's really not any place anywhere near it except maybe some rivers, okay? So again, if you wanna get rid of it, click the sketch, right? Click that little arrow button until it says pops up and says edit. Click that, then click your pin and you see how it turns blue? Then you can trash it, done. All right, it's fun to explore, it's fun to add things. Today's going to be an exploration day for you. Um, please, 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 when you get ready to do this, it's going to be super helpful if you get your map to where you can see all of your pins. That might mean that you have to shrink it up a little bit so that you can see it in case you have some place over here in Asia, maybe the Great Wall of China or something. Okay. Um, you can put in specific cities here, or you can just put countries, okay? There are some that are kind of tricky, uh, especially if it's a body of water. So you might be careful on that, that it's a, it becomes a body of water and not a city. All right, it's time to have fun with this. Again, um, the link that you're going to need will be in Schoology to play around with this, and we'll get started. So that is all you may end your video.